Tesla just released 15 amazing hidden features for all of their vehicles. Model S, Model X, Model 3, Model Y, Cybertruck, everything is going to be getting some new features. And in this video, I'm breaking down the best hidden features for 2024 you need to know for your Tesla. From secrets in the Tesla app, hidden menus in your car, new customizations, hidden buttons, and even, yeah, how to get CarPlay in your Tesla. Yes, it's legit. Let me show you some of the best you need to know, some of the best hidden features for your Tesla in 2024. Whether you have been an owner for one week, one year, 10 years, I promise you everyone is going to learn something in this video. I guarantee you don't know all of these secrets. So here are 15 amazing Tesla hidden features you need to know right now. And a big thanks to Temu for sponsoring this video. All right, so this first hidden feature here is really, really cool and actually has a secondary component that I don't really see anyone talking about that is equally as cool. The first part here is the ability to share a location from your phone, iOS or Android, directly to your car. Now, of course, I could go in here, type uh, the destination, do the whole song and dance, or even do voice dictation as well. But if I'm already scrolling on my phone and I find some place I want to go, if I just tap onto the share sheet, which is a little bit hard to do with this gigantic 15 Pro Max, and then I select Tesla as the destination, it's automatically going to, we try that again, send that location directly to my Tesla, and now it's going to automatically start navigating me uh, to that location just like that, which is really, really cool. But wait, there's more. This actually works for other applications on your phone as well, like YouTube, for example. Maybe you're watching your favorite YouTube creator here and you want to send this over to your car directly. What you can actually do is, again, hit the share icon, and then you might have to go to where there's more options here. So in iOS, for example, it's the three dots to get more. And then I'm just going to select Tesla as the destination. And would you look at that? It's automatically going to load up and hopefully momentarily here, start playing right inside of my Tesla. Obviously, let me turn that down. Tesla has the built-in YouTube app. That was really fast. Uh, but instead of having to sign in or scroll through different videos, if you have a video you want to watch, you can literally send it directly from your phone over to your car. So you can share locations and you can share YouTube videos just like that flawlessly uh, works very easily and works, as you saw, really, really fast. So the stock Tesla app is getting better and better. Tesla's adding more updates and features to this all the time, which is great. But actually one of its best features is something you probably don't even know exists. It's actually the ability to add a fifth icon here to the little uh, icon bar under the car. So for example, right now I've got the lock on lock. I've got the ability to toggle the climate control on, uh, charge port, frunk. But I can actually add a fifth icon here to this row if I wanted to. And I will say for this trick, you might want to take the case off your phone because you've got to drag in a very particular way and the case might obstruct your ability to do that. So I had to take my case off to do this. Let me show you how to do it. So tap and hold on any of these icons. That's going to bring up all the, you know, customized icons you can, you know, do as you normally would. Open all the doors, honk, defrost, stuff like that. So let's say, for example, I wanted to use the fart icon. If I drag the fart icon over any of these, it's just going to replace it, which is fine. But to add a fifth icon, I just want to drag and put it all the way into the utmost right position there in the bar. And again, I've got to take my case off because I've got to get all the way to the edge of the screen for it to activate. So I'm going to take um, the, uh, let's say, for example, here, the fart, uh, the honk uh, icon here. I've already got fart in the uh, controls here. I'm going to drag that all the way to the very edge of the screen. See, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But see right there when it highlights in gray, when you see a highlight in gray, just like that, go ahead and let your finger off. And now you're going to get five icons there on the uh, top there. And if I close this, you can see I've now got my five icons. And also while I'm in Tesla feeder here, what you might not have known is with a recent update, you can actually minimize this, but still have content playing. So of course I could go in here and make it full screen and have this whole thing. But if I tap these two little icons here, I can actually bring this down and have it still play while I'm looking at other things. For example, maybe I'm looking at uh, charging information if I'm here at a supercharger. Maybe I want to open the front or the trunk or even that I just want to adjust the AC before with Tesla's previous offer, you had to really exit out of the whole thing, then jump into doing what you're doing, then go all the way back. But now you can actually minimize this. I'm able to make all the changes I want to, then I can go back in here full screen. And it's really as simple as that. Really nice. You can actually minimize the theater if you want to and easily uh, have it uh, there and get rid of it when you don't need it just by doing that. 
Now, as much as I love talking about brand new Teslas, what I like even more these days is showing off incredible accessories that both enhance and supercharge your Tesla experience. And if you're looking for the one place to go, your one-stop destination for great Tesla accessories, plus so much more, you've got to check out this video sponsor, Temu. Temu is an online marketplace that offers the most competitively priced products in multiple categories. They have a site-wide sale with savings of up to 90% off. That is 90% off and free shipping and returns up to 90 days. If you want to check out all the Temu has to offer, check out the Temu app linked down below in the description and check out my selected items and search my code Robert100 to get a 100 coupon bundle. Temu has so many awesome ways to upgrade your Tesla. Some of my favorites include this really nice key ring holder for your key card to keep this thing from getting lost. It always seems to get misplaced, so this is a great way to make sure that doesn't happen. I also love this super versatile four-in-one USB hub that easily is gonna add some nice USB-C and USB-A ports to your Tesla. Or you can even swap that out for a center console storage box that also lets you run some cables up for charging. Honestly, I really love that Temu has everything you need for all aspects of your Tesla, like this car vacuum, expertly made to help you easily keep your car clean, comes with multiple attachments to easily clean all aspects of your car. It's really great. And you can buy it for free on the Temu app by the link in my description box down below. I also love that Temu has stuff beyond Tesla accessories as well. Like my two-year-old daughter absolutely loves this astronaut starry sky projector. It is mesmerizing. And as someone uh, who has also gotten a new espresso recently, they've got these really nice high quality espresso bean holders that I've absolutely Absolutely love, look amazing, and again, look at that price. It's like unbeatable. Demo is the one place to go for so many amazing products at some really unbeatable prices. Again, if you wanna learn more, check out the Temu app at the link down below. And again, search my code Robert100 to get that 100 coupon bundle. Learn more and check it out at the link down below. And remember, you can buy the car vacuum totally for free on the Temu app via the link right down below in the description box. This next one is a really big Tesla hidden feature that so many people love, but let me just warn you to proceed at your own risk because this hidden menu might severely mess up your Tesla. So uh, just gonna tell you to proceed at your own risk and uh, don't blame me for anything you could mess up. But this is the secret service menu that uh, allows you to see a whole bunch of info about your car and even unlock some stuff that you might have disabled. To access this secret menu, head to the car icon down here go to where it says software, and then tap and hold on the name of your car, the model of your car, Model 3. Or sometimes you have to kind of double tap. It's a little tricky to get to it these days. There we go, but sometimes a little long press will work. And it's gonna say, please enter an access code. You're just gonna put in service, so S-E-R-V-I I see if I can type correctly, hit OK, and it's going to say, hey, warning, this is service mode. If you enable it, you could potentially mess some stuff up, so just proceed at your own risk. Hit enable, and then your car is going to like transform into this big, brand new service mode. So this allows you to see so much information about your car here directly at a glance. Odometer, the type of uh, infotainment hardware you've got. I can go in here to see driver assist settings. I can see cameras. This is a great way to diagnose your car if something might be awry. If you you think, hey, I'm having some issues with the AC system or my connectivity doesn't seem to be right. This is going to allow you to check everything and also be able to, you know, just see if there's any faults or even reset things. If you know that there's a fault that's maybe a false positive, if you're really confident about that, you could turn that off and just a way to really go in here and look at a whole lot of stuff. There's some way to do some resets in here as well. Alignments, you can, uh, I think, recalibrate the cameras if you wanted to do that as well. You could calibrate the steering column here if you wanted to. We could check on the windows. Uh, it is just very, very cool to be able to see all this stuff inside a service menu. But of course, I should mention that you know anything inside a service menu should be done sort of by a service technician. But there uh, is a lot of cool stuff to see in here. You can really dive into here and see cameras and sensors and all that. It's cool to play around with, but again, uh, don't change any settings you're not 100% confident on. And then to exit, you're just going to go ahead and tap this little red icon down there. I should say tap and hold, and it's going to jump you out of service mode. So service menu, really cool, especially great for diagnosing some issues, but uh, don't change any settings you're not 100% sure of because you're on the risk of, well, messing up your car. 
I know this clip looks like witchcraft or wizardry, but no, this isn't either of those things. This is real. This is CarPlay running on the Tesla. And I know the Tesla is never going to officially support CarPlay Android Auto, so stop thinking they will because they just won't. Uh, but if you want to add it to your Tesla, you can actually do it really, really simply by using this. It's a plug and play box. It's from a company called Carlin Kit. It's the T2C. It is literally a plug and play solution. No, they're not sponsoring this video, uh, though if you do want to save 18%, you can use my coupon code down below. And the reason that I talk about this all the time is because it's the easiest solution I've seen. If you want to be a computer wizard and dive into programming a Raspberry Pi, you can do that or uh, rip out your center console and run some cables and wires. You can do that too. But if you're looking for a really simple like plug and play solution, like plug in one cable for power and set this thing up, this is it. And basically how this works is that you connect your phone to this over Bluetooth. So this looks like a CarPlay receiver. And then when you go to a special uh, web page in your Tesla, it basically loads up the interface for this, which looks and works like a full-on CarPlay system. Basically, it's tricking your phone into thinking this is a CarPlay uh, receiver, and then it sort of has your Tesla thinking it's a website when really it is full-on CarPlay. It works really well. All your CarPlay apps will work here. It supports audio. It's got full-on touchscreen capabilities, so all your um, you know touchscreen stuff is going to work here. It is a really good solution, and it's the best implementation you're going to get because, again, Tesla will never officially support this. This. So if you do want to try it and have a pretty easy way to do it, this is going to be the best solution that I found. I've tested a bunch. And again, the reason I recommend this is because it's really easy. It's a plug and play solution. Uh, no wires to your phone, just power for this. And that is it runs through the browser and is really, really simple. If you want to do wireless CarPlay, you can do it with this. If you want to do wireless Android Auto, you can do it, whatever your preference may be. But if you're looking for a way to get some more apps in your Tesla and um, upgrade your Tesla in a big way, here's the way to do it. It's this little box. Link to that, of course, down below. Again, save 18% with my coupon code. One of the best parts of owning a Tesla are all the different cameras you've got access to around the car. The dash cam and sentry mode features in the Tesla are super underrated. They're really awesome. And if you sort of load these up, you can really do a deep dive into clips, see what's going on. And there actually have been some improvements with the holiday update. Tesla's actually made this whole thing faster. So you can actually jump through here and see different things. Really, really cool and works well. But if you didn't know, there are actually a couple of different ways you can actually save a dash cam clip while you're driving. One of my favorite is while you're driving, is to not have to look at anything on the screen at all if something was to happen, and that is to save a dash cam clip on Honk. So when I, well, there we go, honk the horn, a dash cam clip is going to save. To turn that on, go into settings here. You're gonna to wanna to go to safety and then see where it says dash cam here and make sure that on honk is selected and turned on. So if you honk the horn and something happens, it's gonna automatically save that clip onto the USB drive that cannot be overridden in case you need to go back and review it. Maybe you got into an accident, someone else in front of you got into an accident, you wanna review the footage, that is super important. The other thing you can do is simply Simply put the sentry mode dash cam icon into your dock below. So when I'm in a park position like this, tapping this icon is going to load up the viewer and allow me to go through and see all the clips and dash cam and stuff like that. Really helpful and nice to see. But when I'm in drive, like when I'm actually driving the car, this same icon down here is going to switch into a save button. So if I'm driving and wanted to save a clip, I can just tap that icon and it's going to also save as well. So this little icon here is a little bit of a, a double duty uh, icon on there as it'll do different things depending on what you're doing. So in drive, it's going to be able to save clips on park. It's your viewer. So that is cool to see as well. And then one more setting I want to make you aware of is under, I think it's a pedal and steering. Give me a second to find it here. Here it is under display and scroll wheel function. If you long press the left scroll wheel, that can do different things. And in my case here, this is set to save a dash cam clip. So long pressing that is going to save that clip. And that actually leads me to another point here that if you didn't know, this uh, scroll wheel here is totally customizable on all new Teslas, or I should say all Teslas. It was just a new feature here added in software. I don't know why it's under the display tab. That just seems really weird to me, but under display, if you go to a uh, scroll wheel function, you can actually set this to a bunch of different things. It can be uh, saving the dash cam clip. It can change your acceleration mode, camera, defrost, dome lights, fan speed. There's a lot that this can do 
two uh, right inside of the native Tesla software. Usually in the past, you needed uh, third-party solutions to do different things, but now it's built right into Tesla. So if you want an easy way to uh, you know, give your Tesla some new customization and turn this button into a multifunction button, you can now do that right inside of the software. Works really well and is really cool. So Tesla's built-in theater is great if you want to watch Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, or Tesla tutorials, you might notice something odd is missing there. Um, Disney Plus used to be there and it's not there anymore. Uh, if you want a better solution because of that reason or something else, I'd recommend a website called A Better Theater. A Better Theater.com. It's really uh, a better Tesla theater solution made by a Tesla enthusiast who's an active part of the community who wanted a better Tesla theater and decided to make one. This is a really cool website that allows you to unlock so many different options for viewing in your Tesla, everything from Disney Plus. Plus, Plex, Fubo, YouTube TV, and other things, as well as the ability to do full screen websites as well. To launch this in a full screen, just hit go full screen. It's basically going to use a workaround to launch YouTube and then launch you into the full screen website. So if it doesn't go, I'm just gonna hit go to site. It's gonna bounce me from YouTube to the website. And then now I've got a full screen experience. If you log in, it's free. It should unlock all this stuff and gives you a really, really awesome experience to do all this cool stuff. So if you're looking for a better way to watch way more content and do a lot of cool stuff like hey paramount plus in my tesla you can do it right now by clicking that Boop, there we go and into paramount plus so if you're looking for a better theater alternative check out a better theater uh, i'll leave a link down below i've shown this off for years and years in my videos and people have always loved it so if you didn't know it exists and it works really well right inside of your tesla now the word tesla and discount don't usually go together all that often tesla isn't known for giving discounts on anything though i will say if you know where to look and find stuff you can actually get three different types of discounts with your tesla on the car on accessories and some other other freebies as well. What I will say, just in case you don't know about it, is that Tesla's existing inventory typically gives you a couple of thousand dollars off a brand new car. They do sell used cars in existing inventory as well, but typically a lot of these cars are brand new or very, very new, very uh, low mileage on the odometer here, and you can get a couple of thousand dollars off just by getting a car that is already built and ready to go. Also, if you go through a referral link like mine down below, it costs you absolutely nothing and it also gains you some freebies. For example, right now, if you are to um, purchase a vehicle through that link, you'll get three months of full self-driving. And these uh, rewards sort of change throughout the year. Uh, a couple of months ago, you got six months of free supercharging. There was a time Tesla was doing like cash off, like you get $1,000 off the vehicle by using a referral link and a bunch of other freebies and incentives. So definitely, even if you don't use mine, use somebody's referral link because not only do they get credit for that referral, but you get some freebies just for getting the car you're going to buy and usually get some nice stuff there uh, to sort of help uh, alleviate the sting of having to buy that car. So if you want some freebies, check that out. And also I should mention that Tesla also gives some discounts if you use their referral redemption program. So if you go through there, there's a great way to sort of redeem uh, your credits for uh, free full self-driving, free enhanced autopilot, free goodies and stuff like that. And I'll also mention that within the Tesla app, you can also get a discount for premium connectivity. If you subscribe through um, Tesla for their premium sort of connectivity data package, if you do it uh, by month, it's a $10 per month charge. But actually, if you didn't know, there's an annual plan in the settings that if you're gonna use it and you already know you're gonna pay for it for a year, um, you can actually go through the settings there and uh, pay $100 for the year instead of 120 by basically prepaying the year up front. Another cool feature of the Tesla app is the ability to see a bunch of cameras right from inside your Tesla app when sentry mode is on. So for example, I've got sentry mode on, I'm gonna tap live cameras here. And what's cool is that now you have access to more cameras thanks to the holiday updates. I've got access now to, let's see, three, six, seven cameras total from uh, different vantage points of the car, which is really cool. And also I can tap on this little um, icon here, this little square thing to give me the ability to see a uh, sort of quad view. And I'm apologizing right now because my car's in the garage, so the feed isn't much to look at. Uh, but if I did want to see all of them at once, I could hit that little quad view. That's going to show me almost all the cameras up in sort of a uh, security camera split view. And oh, I saw a flash of something and then I can access it in different ways. I can see the different cameras and stuff like that. This is really cool and a great way to give yourself some peace of mind. If your car is parked and you want to check on it, now you've got the ability to see a bunch of different angles all at once from right within the Tesla app.